Devarim, Deuteronomy 28. And it came, rather, and it shall come to pass, if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahuwah Eloheka, to guard and to do at all his commandments which I command you this day, that Yahuwah Eloheka will set you on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on you and overtake you, if you shall hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah Eloheka. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your kine, and the flocks of your sheep. Blessed shall be your basket and your store. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. Yahuwah shall cause at your enemies that rise up against you to be smitten before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. Yahuwah shall command at the blessing upon you in your storehouses and in all that you set your hand unto. And he shall bless you in the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you. Yahuwah shall establish you a holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto you. If you shall guard at the commandments of Yahuwah, Eloheka, and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of Yahuwah, and they shall be afraid of you. And Yahuwah shall make you plenteous in goods, in the fruit of your body, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your ground, in the land which Yahuwah swore unto your fathers to give you. Yahuwah shall open unto you at his good treasure, at the heavens to give the rain unto your land in his season, and to bless at all the work of your hand. And you shall lend unto many nations, and you shall not borrow. And Yahuwah shall make you the head, and not the tail. And you shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath. If that you hearken unto the commandments of Yahuwah Eloheka, which I command you this day, to guard and to do them. And you shall not go aside from any of the words which I command you this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other Elohim to serve them. But it shall come to pass, if you will not hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah Eloheka, to guard, to do at all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. Cursed shall be your basket and your store. Cursed 
shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of your land, the increase of your kine and the flocks of your sheep. Cursed shall you be when you come in and cursed shall you be when you go out. Yahuwah shall send upon you at cursing, at vexation, and at rebuke in all that you set your hand unto for to do until you be destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the wickedness of your doings whereby you have forsaken me. Yahuwah shall make at the pestilence cleave unto you until he have consumed you from off the land whither you go to possess it. Yahuwah shall smite you with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation and with an extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue you until you perish and your heaven that is over your head shall be brass and the earth that is under you shall be iron yahuwah shall make at the rain of your land powder and dust from heaven shall it come down upon you until you be destroyed yahuwah shall cause you to be smitten before your enemies you shall go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth and your carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto the beasts of the earth and no man shall fray them away Yahuwah will smite you with the botch of Mitzrayim and with the tumors and with the scab and with the itch whereof you cannot be healed. Yahuwah shall smite you with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And you shall grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness. And you shall not prosper at in your ways. And you shall be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save you. You shall betroth a woman and another man shall lie with her. You shall build a house and you shall not dwell therein. You shall plant a vineyard and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Your ox shall be slain before your eyes and you shall not eat thereof. Your ass shall be violently taken away from before your face and shall not be restored to you. Your sheep shall be given unto your enemies, and you shall have none to rescue them. Your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people, and your eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in your hand, the fruit of your land and all your labors shall a nation which you know not eat up. And you shall be only oppressed and crushed always. Psalm 
so that you shall be mad for the sight of your eyes, which you shall see. Yahuwah shall smite you in the knees and in the legs with a sore botch that you rather that cannot be healed from the sole of your foot unto the top of your head. Yahuwah shall bring you and at your king, which you shall set over you, unto a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known. And there shall you serve other Elohim, wood and stone. And you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither Yahuwah shall lead you. You shall carry much seed out into the field and shall gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. You shall plant vineyards and dress them, but shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes for the worms shall eat them. You shall have olive trees throughout all your coasts, but you shall not anoint yourself with the oil, for your olive shall cast his fruit. You shall beget sons and daughters, but you shall not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. All your trees and fruit of your land shall the locust consume. The stranger that is within you shall get up above you very high, and you shall come down very low. He shall lend to you, and you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon you and shall pursue you and overtake you till you be destroyed. Because you hearkened not unto the voice of Yahuwah Eloheka to guard his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you, and they shall be upon you for a sign and for a wonder and upon your seed forever. Because you served not at Yahuwah Eloheka with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore, shall you serve at your enemies, which Yahuwah shall send against you in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck until he have destroyed you. Yahuwah shall bring a nation against you from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose tongue you shall not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And he shall eat the fruit of your cattle and the fruit of your land until you be destroyed, which also shall not leave you either grain, wine, or oil, or the increase of your kine or flocks of your sheep 
until he have destroyed you. And he shall besiege you in all your gates until your high and fenced walls come down wherein you trusted throughout all your land. And he shall besiege you in all your gates throughout all your land, which Yahuwah, Eloheka, has given you. And you shall eat the fruit of your own body, the flesh of your sons and of your daughters, which Yahuwah Eloheka has given you in the siege and in the straightness wherewith your enemies shall distress you so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the woman of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat because he has nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith your enemies shall distress you in all your gates. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the man of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter and toward her young one that comes out from between her feet and toward her children which she shall bear for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness wherewith your enemy shall distress you in your gates. If you will not guard to do at all the words of this Torah that are written in this Sefer, that you may fear at this glorious and fearful name at Yahuwah Eloheka, then Yahuwah will make at your plagues wonderful and at the plagues of your seed even great plagues and of long countenance, rather continuance and sore sickness and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon you at all the diseases of Mitzrayim, which you were afraid of, and they shall cleave unto you. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the Sefer of this Torah, them will Yahuwah bring upon you until you be destroyed. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because you would not obey the voice of Yahuwah Eloheka. And it shall come to pass that as Yahuwah rejoiced over you to do you good, 
and to multiply you. So Yahuwah will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught. And ye shall be plucked from off the land whither you go to possess it. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there you shall serve other Elohim which neither you nor your fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shall you find no ease, neither shall the sole of your foot have rest. But Yahuwah shall give you there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And your life shall hang in doubt before you. And you shall fear day and night and shall have none assurance of your life. In the morning you shall say, Would to Elohim it were evening. And at evening you shall say, Would to Elohim it were morning. For the fear of your heart, wherewith you shall fear, and for the sight of your eyes, which you shall see. And Yahuwah shall bring you into Mitzrayim again with ships by the way whereof I spoke unto you. You shall see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen and no man shall buy you.